in Brookings, South Dakota. Terry Oglesby, Mike Greenstein, Anthony Jordan, our officials. Here we go. We'll move it around the perimeter to Harkler. Let's see if they can work this thing in the Watson. He's their team's leading score at 13.8 wow. 13 .8 points per game, but why not? That's a way to start things off. Al Durham with a three. And here's a team, as you said, they can really stroke it from three. They're number two in the country in scoring. There's the first three, and there's the guy that Evan just talked about, Shireman. We're going to commit to doubling Watson. Watson has the obvious size advantage, forcing to be a passer. 6'10", 260, goes up with the right hand and scores. And that's why you got to double him. If he gets it in there, they don't shoot a good field goal percentage, and they don't get fouled as much as they do. So this, you have to look out for this team. And, oh, look out for Watson banging it inside. Been a handful for everybody they played this year, and this is too easy. It's definitely too easy. And I let your defensive teammates help you. Durham in close. Watson, or rather Wilson, got a piece of that. And Providence with their first turnover. Shireman lob and a slam. On the fly was Douglas Wilson. Conference player of the year with this pass this year, and two years ago it was that guy. I see why. I mean, look at the pass, the finish. Rebound, Shireman wins the battle. And ahead to Easley, another lob to Wilson. Whoa. And Wilson's going to be a tough cover for Watson. We know Wilson gives up size, but Wilson also has the speed. The first four minutes for sure. They got Wilson again for a dunk. Score it. Wilson Sharman with put, six. Sharman putting a little mustard on the hot dog right there with the behind the back pass. Is short. Sharman another rebound. Jack Rabbit's running. Little hesitation oh, oh. and a layup off the window. Wait a minute now. He's made for these moments. South Dakota State by four. Five minutes into the first half. Three pointer goes on the other end from Manaya. Watson. Drop step. Watson got the best of that with a block. I don't love that possession there from Wilson. He has a speed advantage on Watson. He should face him up and look to drive him, as like Durham just did right there with the nice drive. Comes back out on top. And now the cut by Shireman to the basket. Defend him in the half court. They give up an open three, but Reeves will take one and got it. Early lead, they led by four, courtesy of Reeves and the three. Hands. There you Wilson go. Wilson to stop the hook, the score. That's what he has to do. Shireman on the dribble, 6-6, six, six, lefty pulls up and buries it. Mm, I like it, I love the execution. Flipboard. Bynum, fadeaway, tough shot for anybody. But they clean up underneath. Croswell does for him, and it's tied at 17. Ed Cooley, everything is about toughness and playing hard. That's their culture here. Get inside. Make it an ugly game. Really nice defense by Horkler on one end, and then the score on the other gives the Friars the lead back. Wilson getting right down there for that lob. He just couldn't finish it. So the Friars went over three and a half minutes without points. Horkler finishes off with a flush. And now the Jackrabbits have gone about four minutes without score. Bynum, three-pointer, got it. Great extra pass by Reeves. That's the definition of turning down a good shot to get a great shot. This is a must trip almost for the Jackrabbits just to kind of settle in. They take a two, a three, Mayo with a three. That'll work. Here's Watson out on top, guarded by Wilson. Durham, a jump stop, the kick out, three-pointer on the baseline. Goes in for... Alibree. Control right there, the jump stop led to that excellent three in the corner, and now Providence is off to the running again. Mayo missed off the window, Durham all the way in. Hello, oh, no! Hello, a little bit of, little bit of old English on that one. Oh my goodness. Durham had it stripped from him, got it back on the baseline with the right hand, score it. And how impressive has Durham been in this first half? Where would Providence be without him? Half. They got a mismatch, Shireman on Watson. Shireman backpedals, the three goes. And that's what they have to do. Cuts it down to five here in the opening moments of the second half. Watson down low, way over. They move it around the perimeter. Reeves three, got it. Here's a pull up. And from the elbow, Charlie Easley with his first basket. Durham, who had nine points in the first half. 
one short on the baseline from Watson. Cleaned up underneath, though, by Manaya. Brendan said, with the fans behind us wondering why. Workler on the cut. Great pass from Durham. To get into a rotation that's not there. And that's how you get two guys on the ball, one guy slipping for a dunk. Manaya left hands it over Shireman. He can keep looking. Listen, this type of game. It's getting tough right now. You're down double digits. You can't take that type of shot right there. Hustler for three. South Dakota State's got to get a timeout. They got to get a timeout. They had their guys ready. They're taking away the three-point shot. They're not allowing the Jackrabbits to live at the free throw line. Right on cue with the announcers, Jinx. They give up a three. <laughs> but until until that possession, they had limited their good three-point look. Mayo again thought about the long shot. Instead, into Wilson, who scores and one. And that's what he does well. Arians, nice spin move in the lane, off the window. And I thought he got fouled there on, on the spin move as well. And Ed Cooley's seen enough. He didn't like it. He's mad about something. Arians, nice move on the baseline. Got it. And Arians likes that spin move. He's been really fond of that. First round action, Midwest Regional in Buffalo. Number four seed, Providence. With the lead over the 13 seed from South Dakota State. And Horkler just knocked down another three. His 56th of the year. Eight to shoot. Durham out to Bynum. Deep three. Got it. Hello. Away and missed in short. Loose ball on the other end. Picked up by Shireman. The outlet to Wilson. And Wilson goes up strong. Score it, and he's fouled by Horkley. Croswell with six offensive rebounds, nine in total. Mayo, open look for three, got it. You hate that at North Carolina when the crowd would get against you in a tournament game <laughs> because I, I, you were always the favorite. Man, I lived, I lived that nightmare. <laughs> As Horkley gets a nice fadeaway jumper, I lived that nightmare my sophomore year. No wonder you still have a nightmare about that one. Ah, man. Harold the show Arsenal. I'll never forget that name. <laughs> Arians, he got a three. Durham, tough shot, and got it to go. Get the ball inside and see if you can get another quality possession. They work the clock down to six, and that is a good possession, and just what you call. We asked Ed Cooley yesterday, said Ed, what do we have to what do you have to hold them to? He said, I'd say low 70s. I'd say they're doing better than that. Uh, a lot better than that. <laughs> For the rebound, one by the Jackrabbits. And on the flip side, if you're the Jackrabbits, you gotta push tempo, gotta get some threes. Whoa! And right on Keith Sharman hits one. He had been a little cold. Hear the crowd gasp. South Dakota State gets the rebound though. And Arians bumped and off the window. How big has he been this second half, Brad? Every time he goes down the lane, it's money. Bynum on the dribble, eight to shoot. Bynum pull up from 16, got it! That's an excellent possession. Read the screen perfectly, ends up with a great shot. Shireman over and in. He wants a foul. Possession game, Jack Rabbits have to hustle. Shireman, he'll launch one from deep. Just a little bit strong. Battle for the rebound. They're well coached, they're smart, they're tough, and they limited time for clip. Got to tip your cap to what the Friars were able to do defensively. No doubt. That one rims out after he hit four straight. Got a hustle, though. You're the Jackrabbits. Mayo's going to launch one from three. Rebound is an underdog here, you know? So uh, they, I think they kind of took that from their coach over the last 24 hours and said, doing the right things in practice in the film room and making sure they're focused on the game. Use his motivation. Good game.